In less than six months, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt has watched the Japanese military devastate his naval fleet and conquer the Pacific, island by island. With Hitler on the verge of taking control of Europe, the threat of war is now closing in on the United States from both directions. And Roosevelt is increasingly desperate for anything that can turn the tide of the war. U.S. naval intelligence has been working around the clock, intercepting encrypted Japanese military dispatches, hoping to get wind of the next attack. And in May of 1942, the U.S. Navy gives Roosevelt the opportunity he's been waiting for. What is it? We've broken the code. It's Midway. How sure are you? Very. Alert the fleets. The deciphered messages contain details of Japan's next planned attack. The Midway Islands. Situated halfway between Asia and the United States, Midway is home to a crucial American airfield. If the Japanese take Midway, they'll control all of the Pacific. What's worse, they'll have a launching point for a potential attack on the west coast of the United States. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, the US has just three aircraft carriers left in the Pacific. But Roosevelt knows this is his chance to make a last stand against Japan. So he sends the three remaining carriers to Midway to lie in wait for an ambush on the Japanese fleet. God be with us. On June 4th, 1942, the U.S. fleet quietly positions itself around Midway. And as the Japanese Navy crests the horizon, the Americans launch their surprise attack. Four carriers destroyed. I thought we only had three. Four Japanese carriers, sir. You update me with anything you receive right away. In just six minutes, Four of the same Japanese aircraft carriers used in the Pearl Harbor attack are destroyed. And over 3,000 Japanese soldiers are killed. Roosevelt absolutely bets the farm, and they destroyed four of the biggest carriers in the Japanese Navy. And it took the commander, who was prepared to make the bold decision, to act when the easy thing would have been you know, to play it safe. Uh, he didn't play it safe, and he won a tremendous victory. The United States has dealt Japan its first major defeat in the war. 